For number two, here we have y is equal to 3x minus 2, and we also know that x is equal to 6. Our goal is to find out the value for y. How can we do this? As we can see, we have the connection between x and y. y is equal to 3x means that we have 3 times the x value, and then we have to subtract 2 from there. We also know the x value. So to do this, we just need to plug in 6 into this x and then do the computation. That's how we can get the y value. So let me put this down. We know y is going to be equal to 3. And then whenever we plug in numbers into variables, always open the parentheses. So let me open the parentheses because I see the x and we know that x is equal to 6. I will put 6 into this parentheses. So that's a substitution. So x is equal to 6 now. And then we still have to subtract 2 from there. This will be the setup. And then to continue with this, this means we have 3 times 6 minus 2. By the word of operation, we do the multiplication first. 3 times 6, that will give us 18. And then we minus 2 from there. Well, 18 minus 2, that will give us 16. And that's the value for y in this case. As we can see, the answer to this will be B. That's it.